and today I'm with Dr. Bauer, who is a chief physician of the lung clinic, Heckeshorn. Hello. Hello. Um, the fight against tuberculosis is a real big fight. Uh, so, so why is it so? It's just a bacterial infection. Why can't you just give some antibiotics? Yes, you're right. It's a bacterial infection, but the bacteria multiply very slowly. That means that we have to give antibiotics for a long time and a couple of antibiotics. For a usual, normal, regular pneumonia, we treat seven to eight days. For tuberculosis, we have a minimum of six months. How, how do you get infected by tuberculosis in the first place? It's usually a respiratory infection, so person by person. It's uh, hardly any time a smear infection, as we call it, when you get something in your eye, for example. So, so smear infection would mean if I'm in the room together with someone who has tuberculosis and he leaves the room, I can still get infected by just touching a door handle? No, no, it's not that contagious. This is a very unregular way. Good. And what are the first symptoms of patients uh, come to you when, when you suspect tuberculosis? Yeah. People do cough, they do have night sweats, and they lose weight. Okay. So, so one of the first signs and symptoms is losing weight? Yeah. Okay. And, and if the patient comes to you, um, what do you do with them? If we have a suspicion of uh, pulmonary tuberculosis, we do a chest x-ray. That's the major point. So that's a normal thing, and, and you see the lung on the picture, and, and I would like to see some picture of tuberculosis. You've got one here. Yeah, we can have a look. Okay, great. So here we have a chest x-ray. Yeah, this is a chest x-ray, like um, we have a, the heart here, we have the two lungs here, and what we can see are the small opacities here, little nodules, which are suspicious of tuberculosis. So opacities mean white spots. Yeah, white spots. So, so and in those white spots, are there the bacteria? There are the bacteria, and the body tries to get rid of those bacteria, but can't, and then he builds granuloma on these granulomas we do see here. Okay, so, so when you see this kind of x-ray, what would be the next step? In Germany, the next step would be to do a chest uh, um, a CT scan, because there are other diseases that can mimic tuberculosis. Okay, so and, and this is a CT scan here? This is a CT scan, right. and we cut the person like this, and what we can see here is part of the heart, we have the lungs here, and we can see the small nodules here as well. And when we go a little bit further up, we see also so-called large opacities here, which also belong to the tuberculosis. So, so this mass here is, is not malign, it's, it's a tuberculosis? Probably. Okay, pro probably, okay. So, so there's a difference between um, the contagious and a non-contagious tuberculosis. Yeah, it's a very important difference for the surrounding of, of the person who has tuberculosis, and it depends whether tuberculosis bacteria appear in the sputum. What you can see here are the airways, and when the bacteria go into the airways, you have a contagious disease. And can you see this on the CT scan? No. This is something the microbiologist tells us. And if, if I would meet a patient with a non-contagious tuberculosis, I wouldn't be at any risk getting it? You are at risk because it's not a one-zero decision, okay. but you are at low risk. Okay. So if you've got a patient with tuberculosis, what's the first-line treatment? First-line treatment is an antibiotic treatment, and in contrast to other infections of the lung, we need six months of treatment, two months with four drugs, and four months with two drugs. And it's a very difficult treatment? Not really. We, we need a compliant patient, so he has to take the medicine every day for six months, which is basically the problem. And, and one of the problems with the treatment is that the bacteria get more and more resistant to the drugs. And this is a worldwide problem on the rise. It's a big challenge for all the researchers. 